All of you are doing really good and welcome back to another new session into the chapter called Financial Markets. And as I've stated earlier, this chapter is one of the most important chapter. As you go, as you study higher, you will go ahead and this chapter will get advanced and it will, you would, it's advantageous for you to know how exactly the stock market deals, how exactly you buy shares and sell shares and how, how you learn about what's primary market, secondary market and how you can invest and make more money. So that's the reason this chapter and these topics are pretty, pretty important, not in even in terms of your exams or even in terms of making more money. So as we start today's session, session we are going to be discussing about secondary markets before we can move on to secondary markets what did we learn in the recap of the last session okay so last session we discussed about what is primary markets we did a comparison between primary markets and secondary markets that is um, how exactly these secondary markets work and what is primary markets, all the things we had discussed. But we did not, sorry, we discussed what is capital market and what is money market. So today, what are we going to be learning? In today's uh, topic, we are going to be learning, okay, we are going to be learning methods of flotation and we are going to be learning a comparison between primary and secondary markets. And in terms of marks, the methods of flotation will come for a four marker or maybe ask for an eight marker. Please write it down or mark it somewhere. And this will come for an eight marker or can be asked for a four marker as well. But this particular topic we have already completed. So I'm just going to put an end to mark and I've told you this would come for a four mark or may come for an eight marker. So today we are going to be concentrating on these two topics that is methods of flotation and difference between primary market and secondary market so why have i included a secondary market here because you need to know primary market after primary market we will be learning what is secondary market in secondary market the first topic is going to be stock exchange so the meaning of uh, stock exchange and the functions of stock exchange is very important. Usually it's been asked in most of your exams. So please ensure to mark the uh, marks as well. So now what is the meaning of primary market? What's the meaning of secondary market? I have already taught you this. The meaning of primary market. So what's the meaning of primary market and secondary market? Now primary market, the term itself tells you it is primary. Primary means what? We are going to talk about shares and we are going to talk about how you're going to buy shares and sell shares. Now, let's take an example. You're earning a salary of 20,000. This 20,000 salary, you want to make more money. So how are you going to make more money? You're investing this money into shares. You want to buy shares of different organizations. So how exactly are you going to uh, buy shares of different organization is what you're going to be learning in this primary market and secondary market. Now, please understand this diagram. If you understand the diagrammatic representation, the answers are going to be very simple for you. Now, what is the primary market? That means this is a company, okay? And you are a person who wants to buy the shares of a company. So what are you doing? This is the company. So you are buying the shares that you are the investor. Okay, this is you. Okay, so you are the investor who wants to invest 10,000 of your salary into buying the shares. So you are buying the shares directly. How? You're logging into the stock market website. There are several stock market websites like your Sharekan, like you have other websites also, which later I will tell you what are the websites. You'll just log into the website. You need to create a DMAT account, just like your savings account, fixed deposit account and all. Like that, you need to create a DMAT account. Further on, I will explain how you need to do it. So you directly log on there, you do a survey, you start investigating and you directly buy the shares from the company and the shares what you buy are all new shares it's not second hand shares it's all new shares of the organization now what is the meaning of secondary market there is a stock exchange in between here and there is a person called as a broker so let's say this is a broker okay 
so what do you do these brokers buy the shares from the organization so let's say this is the company okay so the broker is the middleman between you and the company so you are investing this 10000 you don't know how to go about buying shares you don't know how to go about selling shares so what you do these brokers that's the middleman who are there they buy the company will sell the shares to the broker or the broker will buy the shares from different organizations and you being the investor you will take the help of the broker and you would buy the shares of the organization so this is what is the meaning of secondary market so tell me is it the first hand shares you are buying no exactly you are buying the shares which is already purchased by the broker so this is why it's called as secondary market okay so primary market means you yourself buy you don't take the help of anyone and these are all new shares but here these the, in the secondary market you are already buying the shares which is bought by the broker in, the, in by the organization okay so later you go ahead and you take the help of the broker and then you buy the shares from him that's of secondary market so today we will be learning the topic we have already learned the meaning of uh, primary market the difference between uh, primary market and uh, your secondary market so this today we will be learning the topic called methods of flotation there are five methods of flotation okay which is very important for a four marker may be asked for an eight marker but mostly comes for a four marker and it's very simple now this topic is regarded to primary market we are not talking about secondary market yet so how, uh, how what is the methods of flotation public issue through prospectus that means how are you calling the public to buy the shares of your organization is what is called as methods of flotation okay that means what what are the various methods of floating new issues new issues means what we are talking about shares okay again i'll mention new issues means we are talking about shares okay and we are talking about um, not uh, any shares which is lesser than 1 year we are talking about long term investment when i tell you shares and debentures and all this only it's long term investment it's not short term investment if it's short term investment it will become money market instruments okay so now coming down to your talking about the new issue shares which has been sold into the primary market so new issue itself tells you that we are talking about shares okay which is not lesser than 1 year but shares which is greater than 1 year now these are the different uh, methods of flotation that's public issue through prospectus offer to sale private placement right to issue and e ipos e refers to l now the first one offer through prospectus now what is the meaning of offer through prospectus now that means how are exactly the companies asking the public to buy the shares now all this is greater than 1 year okay greater than 1 year whatever investment the company is asking you to do is all greater than 1 year in our last session we learned about money market instruments lesser than 1 year whatever money you are investing that's what your trade bill your commercial paper your uh, let's say the other ones whatever treasury bill all this was lesser than 1 year but this and all is greater than 1 year okay or let, let's say greater than 5 years or greater than 10 years so the first one is offer through prospectus how is the company asking the public to invest money is offer through prospectus now what is this terminology called prospectus it can be a magazine it can be a brochure it can be an advertisement in the newspaper the where the company is publishing telling that the company is selling so and so shares let's say one share they are selling for 100 rupees they'll tell you the history of the company they'll have the Uh, balance sheet of the company the profit and loss details of the company the entire history of the company and they will be selling this prospectus to the public all those publics who are interested to buy the prospectus would buy the prospectus like uh, let's say example you want to take admission into a college so what is the first procedure you buy an application form and when you buy an application form they will give you a prospector or a calendar now what is this calendar it has all the details of the college what is the history of the college what 
what everything it would have ab about the college was the students it will have some pictures all this now what is the need for it it is nothing but it's like an invitation telling that come join our college this is the things that we have courses that we have in our college so similar to that it is prospectus when we talking about a company okay so in a company these public companies issue okay so what is a prospector prospect is nothing but it's like an advertisement or uh, it is like it's it's published uh, through like a newspaper or magazines where you are asking the public to come and invest their money into the organization so what is it it offers through prospectus the most popular method of raising funds from the public companies in the private uh, market now we are talking about public companies public companies refers to what where 50% of the share capital belongs to the government okay 50% or 51% of the share capital uh, belongs to the public so uh, sorry government so what exactly we are talking about uh, companies which are not totally under the government control but we are talking about companies where 51% the major uh, shares of the uh, shares of the company is held by the government or is bought by the government example your ksrtc your bemel not when ksrtc your bemel then you have your hcl all this hindustan aeronautic limited all these are public companies where 51% of the share cap capital is bought by the public uh, sorry government so the remaining uh, capital is what they are asking the public to come and invest their money so these sort of organizations are the ones which offer their prospectus to the public asking them to come and buy the shares and uh, issuing of prospectus is not a very easy job it's a very complicated and it's a very uh, cost um, you have to incur a lot of money so it's very expensive so this involves inviting subscriptions subscription nothing but you are asking them to come and buy your prospectus for which you will charge a rate for the prospective every prospective you will charge 200 or 300 from the public through issue of prospectus a prospectus makes a direct appeal to the investor to raise capital either like you are advertising or you are publishing it in the newspaper or through the magazine and it's very simple also it's not complicated now the second one offer for sale now what is offer for sale you are offering to sell your shares through your intermediaries like your issuing houses and your brokers now what is these issuing houses like you example you have a stock exchange or you have middlemen in between like your brokers i told you know these brokers buy the shares from the company okay and in turn they will sell it to you so what is happening here they will buy the shares from the company or the company will sell the shares to the broker okay at a certain price and then you you do not know how to invest your money into these organizations it's not a very easy job you need to do a lot of research otherwise you'll end up losing your money so what you do you contact the brokers either through your intermediaries either through your bank or either through your financial institutions mostly it's the banks so these banks and financial institutions have brokers who are related to their institutions so what happens these brokers will be a part of the stock market or they will have contact with various companies and they would have bought the shares of different companies so they will ask you or they will go ahead and help you uh, in negotiating the prices and they will help you to buy the shares so what is happening a company sells the securities and blocked at an agreed price to the broker so let's say the company share is sold at 50 rupees one share is sold they will sell it to the broker for 50 rupees in terms the broker will sell it to you at let's say 51 rupees but you will not be aware of it okay but he can also sell it the company can sell it at 50 rupees to the broker and broker can even sell it at 49 rupees to you because he wants to sell the shares to you so this is what is offer for sale there is an intermediary in between you and the company when you want the shares now the third one is private placement what is this private placement private placements can be banks it can be mutual funds it can be insurance companies like how i told you you have banks through the banks you have a broker that means broker will not be a part of the uh, uh, bank but he will be part of the stock uh, company or stock market but here what is these institutional investors these are all people who will have connection to the company 
okay or through the stock market so what is happening here private placement is an allotment of securities by a company to institutional investors so again the company here is allotting shares to these institutional investors okay the company is going ahead and is selling their shares to the institutional investors and again these institutional investors go and sell the shares to the public here so what is happening it is not just one person before we only had broker here in offer for sale but here we are having institutional investors now who are institutional investors they can be banks they can be mutual funds they can be private equity funds university endowment now i'll tell you one thing all these are buying of shares and uh, buying of shares of organization but it's just that the policies and the terms will be different for each and everything like you talk about mutual funds mutual funds are subject to market risk why because there are a lot of risk involved in mutual funds now don't break your head to understand it in detail as you uh, study for uh, let's go in detail later on now you study on top of the surface so what are these institutional investors is nothing but you're buying the shares but from different people like from bank people you're buying you're buying uh, you're investing it in mutual funds you're investing it in equity funds everything has its own risk factor so and for all this there's a person who is helping you these are institutional investors they are not brokers they are institutional investors now what is happening then it helps to raise capital more quickly than the public issue how is it helping you to raise because it's not just one kind of uh, um, it's not just one kind of shares that you're investing in it is different kinds of uh, let's say sections that you have here so you have different varieties where you can invest and where you can the percentage of earning will be higher like example mutual funds are subject to market risk so what happens the interest percentage what you earn will also be high so what happens those companies who cannot afford to uh, publish a prospectus okay they will go ahead and they will opt for this private placement because all these are third parties through the third parties they will they will get help now the next one is a right issue now what is this right issue right issue is nothing but there is a terminology that you need to understand that is it is the right which is given to existing shareholders okay it's the right that is given to existing shareholders now what is the right that you're giving to them okay what, because they are uh, let's say they have already bought so many shares from your particular organization if you want more you want to raise more capital in your organization you would give them an opportunity to buy the shares to buy the new shares of your organization that is first hand right you are giving so what is it it's a privilege which is given to existing shareholders to subscribe subscribe means to buy okay subscribe means buy the new issue of shares according to the terms and conditions of the company the shareholders are offered the right to buy the new shares in proportion to the number of shares they already possess that means what example you want to buy the shares of ibm you already possess around let's say 1000 shares of ibm so what is happening ibm is again contacting you and asking you we are selling new shares for so and so price are you interested to buy this is the right what we are giving to you okay so what is happening you are privileged they feel that you are privileged and they are giving the opportunity for you instead of somebody else that's the meaning of right issue the last one is initial public offer this terminology is also called as eipo it's nothing but electronic initial public offer what is this electronic it is done online over the internet okay now what is this you need to have people in between okay you will have brokers you will have different people in between okay a company possessing to issue capital to the public through online system of stock exchange has to enter into an agreement in a stock exchange a stock exchange is like not a broker or anything but it is a it's a let's say it's like an institution 
okay where it will have contacts of different companies so all the companies will log on or they will register under the stock exchange and their different public people even brokers would come and they would buy the shares from the stock exchange why because the companies are all located there now how does it work this is a stock exchange here okay these are companies you have like several companies okay so this i'm putting as c okay all the companies would register with the stock exchange and the brokers are here as well as the public that is you is here so the brokers will also buy the shares through the stock exchange the public will also buy the shares through the stock exchange it's a medium through which you will buy and sell shares the medium is stock exchange now online system of stock exchange has to enter into an agreement with the a company possessing to issue capital issue capital means if they want to get capital through the public they have to go online through the stock exchange and enter an agreement with the stock exchange that is called as initial public offer initial means what first time they are uh, selling their shares or the advertising not selling advertising their shares in the stock exchange sebi registered brokers sebi registered brokers means what all these brokers have to have uh, proper registration or they have to have proper id cards and they should be qualified to be called as brokers there's a lot of courses that they have to undergo to be called as brokers to sell and buy shares otherwise they would be uh, rejected by sebi okay security exchange board of india is what is called as sebi okay so have to be appointed for the purpose of accepting applications and placing orders with the company now the issuer company should also appoint a registrar to the issue having electronic connectivity with the exchange that means you're doing all this over the internet that is buying and selling and advertising your shares through stock exchange the issuer company issuer company is the company can apply for listing can apply for listing of securities on the exchange other than exchange through which it is offered okay the only basic thing that you need to understand is different companies will go ahead and they would register with the stock exchange and brokers and the public will also have connection with the stock exchange so if they are interested to buy the shares the brokers would buy the shares from the stock exchange so what is happening for the first time the shares are being advertised through the stock exchange and brokers and the public can buy the shares from the stock exchange all this is done in the first hand it's all new shares that we are talking so even if there are middlemen in between all the shares that is being sold here are brand new shares it we are not talking about old shares so first time uh, you are selling your shares either to the broker either to the public whoever you are selling your shares to you are doing it for the first time that is why it's called as primary market okay now the, what is the difference between primary and secondary market now you already know i just told you primary market refers to the new issue of shares okay secondary market refers to trading of existing shares that means what you are trading the shares in the stock market again and again example first time the company is selling the share for 50 rupees okay now what is happening after 2 3 years the same shares are being sold in the secondary market for 100 rupees now this is the difference between new shares that means first time is called as primary market the same shares they are selling it after one year two months three months is called as secondary market so primary market talks about new shares secondary market talks about existing shares the second point is securities are sold by the company to the investors directly see here that is what i told you so here the second point is the company is selling the shares to the investors directly investors can be brokers they can be stock exchange they can be even the public there or through an intermediary like i just told you you have a broker also in place here what is happening ownership of existing securities is exchanged between investors now what is this terminology ownership of existing securities we are talking about this existing shares are sold either from broker to broker or either it is sold from investor to investor or it is sold from 
anybody okay but you're not doing it for the first time you're doing it for like let's say the third time or the fourth time or the fifth time through the stock exchange see the mechanism the uh, through how how are you buying and selling shares you're doing it through the stock exchange only through no other mechanism can the company trade the shares so let it be uh, for the first time also you're buying you can you should buy it from the stock exchange you're buying it for the second or the third time also you're buying it from the stock exchange the third point is the flow of funds is from the saver to the investor saver is the company okay and investor is you the primary market directly promotes capital formation because they need money only they are invest they are issuing their shares for the first time now what is happening here it enhances encashability what that means what you are not selling the shares for the first time the company has already sold the shares for the first time in the primary market now let's say i am there i have bought the shares for the first time from ibm now i am in bad need of money i again contact my broker or let's say i myself log on to the stock exchange see stock exchange market and i start selling the shares now you are interested to buy the shares you buy the shares from me so easily what i'm getting i'm getting cash for my shares which i have already bought so indirectly it is promoting capital formation so whenever i want money i'll sell my shares i get the money okay so the fourth point is only buying of securities takes place in the primary market securities cannot be sold there why securities cannot be sold because we are talking about new issue of shares we are not talking about shares which is already bought and sold but in the secondary market we are talking both about buying as well as selling of securities the important terminologies which i am underlining along with the certain examples uh, please learn it that way so that it's easy for you to understand now the next one is the prices of the securities are determined by the company why is it determined by the company again because first time they are selling the shares so definitely whatever rate the company is uh, selling the shares that will be the rate that the public or let's say the broker is buying now here you would have bought the shares first time for 50 rupees but when you are selling how much you are selling for you are selling for 100 rupees so 50 rupees you are making a profit you are demanding that i will sell it only for 100 rupees so if you want you buy if you don't want it's okay i will sell it to somebody else now here there is no fixed geographical location that means what any through any stock market or share security uh, exchange board of india through any branches you can buy the shares okay there is no fixed geographical location here but it's located at specific places what are they saying the branches that is there is located now i'll tell you another thing this last point okay if you do not even learn it in terms of you do not understand what exactly it means it is okay you just have to remember the terminology here there is no fixed geographical location means what the companies are based in different locations so if you want to buy the shares of the companies you have to get in touch with those companies why because with the shares are being sold by the companies for the first time they may log on to the stock market website and they may sell the shares there but not all companies may be registered through the stock market website probably there is another method where they can even buy the shares so there is no fixed geographical locations here but what is happening here when you have bought the shares for you to go ahead and again resell the shares or buy the existing shares you always have to come to the stock exchange or the stock market itself so that is why the buying and selling of shares are located in specific uh, places like you have bangalore stock exchange you have delhi stock exchange you have uh, chennai stock exchange you have different other stock exchanges you have different uh, segregated places so when you come to buying and selling of shares there are branches where you can go and where you can get help okay like banks are there where you have other uh, places also where you can go ahead and buy now this particular answer may come for an 8 marker or may come for a 4 marker please ensure if you know the meaning of primary market properly and secondary market properly you can learn this particular answer. now 
Again, we'd come back to methods of flotation. We learned about public issue through prospectors. You know what is prospectors, magazines, advertisement, new letter, newsletters through which the uh, organization is selling their shares or asking the public to uh, invest their money. Offer for sale. Then the next one is private placement. Then you have right issue and EIPOs. Uh, please listen to the videos again and again so that it's easy for you to understand the terminologies it is not very complicated the terminologies which i have marked is what you need to uh, under uh, you need to go ahead and mark it and learn that more than enough for you to score good so thank you so much for listening any doubts you have any queries you have please uh, post a comment whether you are able to understand whether you are not able to understand and i would ensure that in the next video things are a little more better for you thank you so much please like and please subscribe